So with the mention of a Splatoon Battle Royale mode in the previous video, a lot of my viewers disliked this idea, even going to the degree it was stupid. You stupid! While I kind of agree the idea is pretty goofy for Splatoon, I do believe we could be getting a mode like this in Splatoon 3. A lot of people are just put off since it's, ooh, Fortnite! Honestly, try playing some of the other battle royals out there. Some of them are actually pretty good. So in this video, I'm here to persuade you why the idea for a Splatoon 3 battle royale mode might be pretty good. I even have some evidence to show this could be real too, so stay true to the end of the video. So here's my concept for the Splat Royale, Splatoon 3's battle royale mode. 16 to 32 players will enter the Splatlands arena to claim their victory royale against all the other players. You will be able to play as a solo, duo or a squad of 4 team. The arena is found in a huge crater in the desert of the Splatlands. Inklings and Oaklings enter this arena by the mid-air spawn drone where they can aim where they want to land on the huge map. Each of the players or teams have their own individual ink colour where they can turf anywhere they see in the arena. You will be able to use the Squid Surge and Squid Roll moves in this mode too. All of the players start with the basic Splashot Junior and the Splat Bomb. Players can change or upgrade their weapons and sub-weapons by finding different items in the arena. For special weapons, players will be able to choose one special before the game starts. Their choices are from the main mode specials such as the Sip Caster and the Big Bubbler. The choices will matter depending on your play with the special weapon, from the aggressive or the defensive side in these games. Apart from cosmetics, this will be the only choice you can change. Abilities on gears are disabled in this mode. If playing solo, a little buddy is here to help you. You will be able to command the small fry buddy using the d-pad to do various actions. Pressing up will make the little buddy to sniff out any nearby items. Pressing down will command the little buddy to return to you. This battle royale will be slightly different. Since splatting an opponent is pretty quick, each player will have two lies where they will respawn on the spawner drone once again. Players can either aim to be launched from the drone or be able to squid jump to their squad. Over an amount of time, the playball area will start to shrink. Of course, to win the mode, the remaining team standing will win the number one for true royale. After each game, player will receive splat royale XP and splat royale currency. The Splat Pass is Splatoon 3's Battle Pass for the Battle Royale mode, which is completely free. Players will be able to unlock more cosmetics for this mode, from taunts to exclusive gear. Apart from taunts, every other cosmetic can be used in the main multiplayer mode as well. After playing a Splat Royale round, you'll be able to level up the pass to get new items. This will go up to level 100. The Splat Pass will update after every season with new items. Once again, this Splat Pass will be completely free. The Splatlands Arena environment will be based in an abandoned city area in the crater, leaving many closed in the open spaces to splat in. Players can ink and swim up to any of the broken buildings and defend by using the different building levels. On the map, there will be different landmarks such as the upside down Eiffel Tower. There will be some stage variations for this arena to give more variety after playing around. They can even put these stages on a time rotation like we see with the main multiplayer mode. And this is my Splat Royale concept for Splatoon 3, what do you think? Alright, it's now time to get into some of the evidence I have found for this concept. First, let's look at when this Battle Royale genre became popular. Fortnite became popular with the Battle Royale mode starting around September 2017 going to 2018. Then we started to see many other Battle Royale modes and games, such as Players Unknown, Battlegrounds and Apex Legends. As we know, Splatoon 2 came out in July 2017, so really the chance of playing and developing a completely new mode like a Battle Royale could have not really happened. Really, Tetris 99 wasn't really developed by Nintendo. I think Splatoon 3 is a good opportunity for them to try it out. Enough time has passed by, so it doesn't seem like a trend chaser for a mode or anything. With Splatoon 3 being located in the Splatlands, the game already gives more chaos and an outdoor theme, which could blend well with a Battle Royale concept. The idea of the spawn drones feels like a mechanic which could be used in the main multiplayer mode and possibly a battle royale mode as well. Just look at this one image we got last year. This just feels like a Splatoon 3 battle royale. Let's go to the original announcement trailer. Many people have said the first part is the story mode, but I disagree. First, why is the Inkling not wearing the story mode clothing we saw in the previous trailer? They're not even wearing the salvaging scrap gear we saw in a previous image. They just wore him torn up normal clothes. 
Even after the customization menus, the area we see the player moving just doesn't feel like a story mode level, especially when the player gets onto the train to go to Splatville. We still don't know what this area will be used, but it just feels like it's not for the story mode. But this upside down Eiffel Tower space could be used for another mode, like a Battle Royale mode? Hmm? Overall, I am kind of rooting to see a Battle Royale mode in Splatoon 3 now, after thinking about it a bit more. I was originally not a fan of the idea, but I have kind of warmed up to the idea, if we do see it. Hopefully the Splatoon team will develop a good mode if they have concept a similar idea out. Well, that is the video, thanks for watching. What is your honest opinion about a Battle Royale mode in Splatoon 3? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe! Bye!